What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you want to keep your documents safe from fire, you might want to check out this. Oh, if you're like me, you probably have documents in your house, whether it's marriage certificates, birth certificates, social security cards, passports, uh, cash, anything important, old photos that are important to you. And I was thinking of actually putting some of that stuff in a fireproof uh, box, a safe, if you will. And I decided, you know what? Why not try this? So this is kind of interesting because I don't really need a safe. I'm not too worried about getting robbed, but you know, if something were to burn down and you were to lose all that, it can be kind of a pain to replace them. Enter this little bag here. It's actually a fireproof bag and they are much, much cheaper than those fireproof boxes. And they seem to hold a bunch of stuff. So I want to just show you here uh, that this thing is pretty large. It's kind of funny. It feels a little bit like a dry bag. Now, I have noticed that this one says it's non-itchy. So some of them must not have maybe this coating. And I'm not sure if it's fiberglass or something like that. But some of them must kind of shed it's like some fiber materials, which might be itchy. So it seems like it's worth spending the extra dollar over those to get the ones that are not. It does have like a, a raft-like feel to it. It's very rubbery, as you can see there. This one's bright orange, but it's pretty big and should hold regular documents. Now, I just want to give you kind of the side-to-side -side dimensions. It's a basically one foot cross, and then top to bottom, we're looking at uh, 15 inches. So you should be able to put in here, say you know, full documents without having to fold them up, which could be really nice. And you can see here, it's probably a couple inches thick, so you can definitely stack a bunch of stuff. Union full. Now, up here is where the uh, enclosure gets interesting, and they kind of touted this in the description, although I don't know if this is a lot better than other things. So first of all, you have a Velcro opening top right here, and I would think that this in fire would melt. I mean, it's just like a polyester right so that could melt but that's fine and then it folds over this top and then you have a zipper so some of them say that they're just velcro or something like that i don't know that the zipper to me seems like fireproof but the zipper pull right here is metal but these teeth are all like plastic so i would think that they would melt too now inside you have what i think is i don't know i'm not going to say it's nomex it feels like microfiber cloth it's kind of fuzzy and kind of soft but I'm assuming that's like a high heat resistant material. And then maybe there's some material inside. I don't know, some like aluminum uh, foil or something like that or something to continue to block the heat. But just showing this to you is not particularly that interesting. What we need to do is test it. And so to test it, I'm going to put in some documents here. And then we are going to throw this sucker into the fire. So what do I have? Um, I have uh, my stock certificate, uh, 1 million shares of Amazon stock. So I'm going to put that in here and, you know, hope I don't lose that. I also have, oh, uh, my marriage certificate here to, um, to Emma Watson, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, I also have, oh, uh, the title to my Lamborghini Huracan. So we'll throw that in here too. It's kind of nice. Nice to have that. And then I got uh, a little cash here. We'll really see if it works, you know, protects cash. So I don't know. It's just some, some spare cash that's been sitting around, um, you know, some walking around money, right? So we'll go ahead and throw that in there too. Boom. All right. I'm going to zip it up. We will take it out to the fire pit. I'm going to get a fire going. I know in the description it says that it's resistive to 500 degrees. I feel like that's kind of hot, but I feel like that's oven hot. To be really honest, I feel like fires can get much hotter than that. Now, I don't know that this is supposed to be in the hottest part of the fire, but I'm going to go ahead and light a fire and then throw the sucker on top. And let's see if uh, Emma Watson and I are still married afterwards. I grabbed some cardboard boxes here. I threw a few sticks in here too. I've got some fire starters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and light this sucker up. And basically what I wanna see here is uh, as I get this going, I'm gonna actually let it burn before I toss the bag in here. But we will honestly give this, hopefully, a run for its money. So I'm gonna let this flame up and then we'll toss it in. Okay, the fire's going, so while it continues to burn, I'm just gonna throw this sucker in there. Boom, just like that. 
So I can feel the heat coming off this thing. Uh, I would definitely say it's 500 degrees. Oh, look at that. It is, uh, it is burning the outside of it. It's totally discoloring. That's kind of interesting. You can see that going on right there. Oh, and over here. Look at that. That is cool. Okay, well, burn, baby, burn. I'm gonna let it cook for a while. I definitely think if this gets caught in a house fire or something like that, it's not gonna be put out instantaneously. So we'll let her burn and bake and see what the carnage is. All right, she's continuing to burn. And as I expected there, you can see, I just went out, but looks like that Velcro is absolutely not only burning, but melting. So didn't think that was gonna hold up the flame very well, but it's in fact flammable. I can also see some flame kind of coming out of the very top. So it actually looks like, you know, it actually looks like it's melted the zipper there. So I think we've kind of breached the bag itself. I feel like there is flame coming out from inside the bag. I feel like the things in there are going to be torched. Huh, interesting. All right, we'll let her keep going here for a little while. Okay, most of the big flames have gone out, but the wood is under there burning, and I don't know that I feel like I've just got to let it continue to cook here. So I'm actually going to remove it here and probably a little dumb to grab it by hand. Oh my gosh, look at that. That has definitely seen better days, um, and that is really hot. So I'm going to grab a stick here and throw it into the snow. Okay, this is what the back looks like. Um, I will say that it hasn't gone through it. So actually... I'm actually impressed that it's held up. In fact, some of the areas I've still got that yellow, so it's still all in one piece. Now, now the front of it, as I mentioned, has seen better days. Everything here was sacrificed in the fire. It is a gooey mess, and actually, there is pretty much nothing left of that zipper. It is all melted too. And in fact, you can see there, uh, we've totally breached inside of it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see what we've got left. All right, so I've taken a peek. My hands are all sooty and ashy. And I'm just going to tell you that uh, for protecting my important documents from fire, I am probably not going to depend on this too much. As you can see there, I think my Lamborghini Huracan is no longer in my ownership. I think Emma Watson and I are no longer married. And in terms of the $10,000 down there, um, that also looks like that has seen better days. Uh, in fact, as I empty it here, you can see just the state of most of the paper that was in there. Um, yeah. Okay. And that's the best of it. Even that fabric lining, which I thought was fireproof, you can see it's come away from the back there. There's still some on the front, but where it was actually sitting on top of the flame, it is completely gone. And none of this stuff uh, survived very well. So it's a little disappointing. I was hoping that that would hold up a little bit better. But anyway, now you know. If you want to pick these up, they're only like 13 bucks, but... I wouldn't put anything in there that you can't live without. That's for sure. I'll put a link to it in the description anyway. Peter Brown Panda, out.